Hello! So it's that E3 time of the year, and while I mostly don't care, I will be looking forward to the Nintendo presentation, specifically to see information about the new Smash Brothers game. And as everyone is wont to do, I have made a uh, Smash Predictions bingo card. I've tried to make it not entirely character predictions, so there's a few like other things in there. There's a few character predictions on here though. So uh, let's see how it goes. In the top left, I've got Springman. He's the mascot of Arms, I think. Like he's on the box. I've not played Arms, but that's one of the two new properties that Nintendo has released since the last Smash game. The other being Splatoon, which is already confirmed to be in the game. It only makes sense that they would also add Springman. Number two, there's gonna be a Mario Rabbids stage. So last year, Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle came out. That game was really good, and we're gonna see some representation in this game. We've got another prediction later, which is also from this game. I think the least we can hope for is a stage, though. Number three. Mario's gonna have a new special which features Cappy. So Mario Odyssey has obviously come out since the last Smash game, and the gimmick of that game was Cappy, where he throws his hat at people and like takes control of them. You can't really do that in Smash. He'll have some kind of Cappy-based move. I'm thinking it'll be like a grab, maybe, like you throw your hat at someone to grab them. So you've got like a long-range grab. Number four, Spike is in the game. They just seem to be putting him in everything else. He made it into the new Mario Tennis. He's in Mario Party 10. Why not put him in the Smash? This little chap is very good. Number five, a new subspace emissary type mode. So they didn't have one in Smash 4, and I think the reason behind it was that Sakurai didn't like it when people leaked all the videos on YouTube, but I think it might make a return this time. I at least want it to make a return, because uh, that was a cool idea. I like having like a fun single player mode to do, just to take my mind off just multiplayer. Number six, there's gonna be a Bowser wedding skin. So at the end of Mario Odyssey, Bowser is dressed up in a fancy white suit with a nice top hat, and I just want that to be an extra skin for him in this game. Number seven, Crash Bandicoot makes it into the game. This is like my childhood dream. The Crash games were like my favorites growing up. I'd love to see him make an appearance in another of my favorite games. It's more likely than ever with the Crash 1, 2, 3 remaster coming to Switch soon. So there is hope. Number eight, there's gonna be a weird gimmick mode. So last time we had like a Mario Party-esque thing on the Wii U version, and then there was like another one that was like Smash Run on the 3DS. We're gonna get a new one, but not either of those. But it's still gonna be weird, and you're gonna play it a couple of times and then not touch it. Number nine, there's gonna be more ladies. <laughs> Smash on Wii U went a little way to evening out the gender imbalance in Smash Brothers. I think we're gonna try and work a bit more on that, so we're gonna have some more female characters coming in. Number 10, more customizable stuff. I'm specifically talking about the character customization. You could put your me character in the game, uh, and I had a fun time doing that, but it didn't feel like there was a whole lot to it. So I'm hoping they add more customizable bits like a more robust character creator, hopefully. So when Crash obviously doesn't get announced, I can just make him myself. Number 11, a new Fire Emblem character. Uh, there are so many Fire Emblem characters. Like, they, they always add a new Fire Emblem character. This is obvious. <laughs> Number 12, the party mode from the last game is gone. I played it like a couple of times with some friends. It was okay but then we just went back to playing normal multiplayer mode. They're gonna dump it. Number 13, and the free space in the middle, it's a new game. I'm gonna look like a chump if it is just like Smash 4 DX version or whatever, but I'm fairly certain that this is Smash 5. It's been a little while since Smash 4 came out. It's been plenty of time to make a new one, and I don't think they would be hyping it up as much as they are if it wasn't a new game. Number 14, there's gonna be no Ridley. He's still too big. Sakurai won't allow it. 
Number 15. Link and Zelda are going to look like they do in Breath of the Wild. This seems fairly obvious, but they're going to get new skins that are going to be like the default, that are going to be how they look in Breath of the Wild. They'll probably be like Link wearing a hat or whatever <laughs> as another skin. I don't care though, I think he looks cool in Breath of the Wild. Number 16. Shovel Knight. I like Shovel Knight as a character and as a game. He's already got an amiibo, which is a good hint that Nintendo are willing to work with Yacht Club games, so I think we've got a good chance of getting Shovel Knight in the game. It would be nice to see as well. He's a very easy character to bring over, he's got a lot of obvious moves. Number 17. <laughs> the trailer's gonna play up the Switch stuff, because it always does. We're gonna get a diverse group of people sat playing Smash in the park because the Switch is portable. <laughs> they love showing this stuff and like that's a major selling point of the Switch. We're gonna see some people playing Smash Bros in a weird place <laughs> because the Switch can do that. Number 18. There's gonna be a Gen 7 Pokemon. Probably Decidueye because he's mostly human shaped but he's not that big buff cat. Number 19. We're going to have a crazy third party character revealed. Someone you would never expect to see in the vein of like Mega Man who we had last time, Pac-Man, Solid Snake, like all these weird people you wouldn't think would get into a Smash game. We're gonna get at least one of them on release. Number 20, Rabid Peach is gonna be in the game. I really liked Mario Rabbids and I want Rabid Peach in because she was like the best character in that game. That's about it. She'll have a move where she takes a selfie with someone. Number 21. Ganon's gonna have Calamity Ganon as his final smash. <laughs> so instead of turning into a big pig, he's gonna turn into that big weird snake dragon thing that he does in Breath of the Wild. Do people care about final smashes? I don't know. They look cool. Number 22. For the Donkey Kong characters, we're gonna have some new skins. So we're gonna have for Donkey Kong a Funky Kong skin because Tropical Freeze uh, on Switch has funky mode and for Diddy Kong we're gonna have a Dixie Kong skin because it just makes sense. Number 23 we're gonna have some more Nindy representation. Nintendo have really been pushing independent games on the Switch. I think we're gonna see at least some assist trophies of these Nindy games or possibly new characters. Personally I want to see Isaac from The Binding of Isaac in the game because I play that game so much. Number 24, Mario Odyssey skins. In Mario Odyssey, there are a lot of different outfits you can buy for Mario. I think we're gonna get some of them as alternate skins of Mario in this game, just cause it'll be fun. Or maybe all these skins will be in as like outfits that your Miis can wear, which would also be fun. I'm not picky. And finally, number 25, we're gonna see the return of a past character. My guess is on Ice Climbers coming back, because the reason they weren't in the last game was because they wouldn't work on the 3DS. And now I think this game is just coming out on Switch. We can bring Ice Climbers back. People love Ice Climbers. I never played Melee, and I barely played Brawl, so I don't care that much. But, like, more characters is always fun. Characters probably won't come back. Wolf from Star Fox, because who cares? And Pichu, because who cares? Smash fans probably care. So that's it, 25 predictions arranged nicely in a bingo sheet. <laughs> the Nintendo Direct is on Tuesday, so hopefully we can see some then. Obviously, we're not gonna know everything about the game until it releases, but I think that's later in the year. So I'll just have to be a bit patient with this game of bingo. If you've got any predictions, why don't you chuck them down in the comments? I'd love to hear what you have to say. I don't know why I said that so weirdly. I usually keep it to movies on here, but I do like games as well, and, and Nintendo is just, just my fave. Oh, repping my girl Captain Phasma. It's a shame she died without doing anything. Uh, see you later. Bye!